watching MCS TV, where we dare to be extraordinary. I'm Abigail Munoz. And I'm Michael Sweeney. And today we have a special edition of MCS TV, where we're on site at 211 Chairman Avenue, Mass Charter School's new home for the upcoming 2013-2014 school year. And on today's show, we'll be giving you an exclusive tour of our new building, which is 63,000 square feet. But first, our very own Charles Torres caught up with Principal Dr. Walter Goodwin for his expectations of the upcoming school year. Charles? Hi, my name is Charles Torres, and today I am here in Metz Charter School's new building speaking with Principal Dr. Goodwin. Hello, Dr. Goodwin. How are you, Charles? How's everything? I am very fine. Good. So this building is two times larger than our old building before. What does this mean about the functionality of our classes and the students, and what do you want us to accomplish during the next school year in this new wonderful building? Charles, let me tell you something. I am so overwhelmed with this facility that I know that for the next three or four years, this will be probably one of the most outstanding buildings in Jersey City. The rooms are, are very large. Uh, we'll have separate, we'll have a wing for the middle school and we'll have a wing for the, uh, for the high school. The, uh, the facility is just an outstanding facility. Uh, I think the teachers will enjoy this. We'll have labs, different kind of labs. We, Charles, words cannot express how I feel about this facility. And I know that when, once our students get here, they will be overwhelmed as I am overwhelmed. So Charles, Listen, I'm going to tell you something. We hit the jackpot on this. You know the lottery? We just hit the lottery, and this is going to be the place uh, that met will set the world on fire. Thank you very much, Dr. Goodwin. Thanks, Charles. As of now, this building is being used as an elementary school, and as you can see, many things are pint-sized and not retrofitted for middle and high school students. But luckily, Dr. John Seco, founder of Mass Charter School, says that the custodial staff is hard at work making plans for upcoming renovations. Our very own Angelie Serrano is standing by with details. Angelie? Thanks, Abigail. Hi, I'm Angelie Serrano, and I'm here with Dr. John Seco, founder of Mass Charter School, here in the hallway of our new building. So Dr. Seco, so what are your expectations of the renovation of our new school? Well, Angelie, uh, as lead founder of Mass Charter School, I am quite confident that Dr. Walter Goodwin, our principal, and his administrative staff and staff will renovate this building into a state-of-the-art facility. Right now you see before pictures. When we are done, it's going to be freshly painted. State-of-the-art science laboratories, real high school chemistry laboratories, okay? The facilities will be second to none. I give my word, and as I said, Dr. Goodwin's up to the challenge. Him and his crew will make it happen. Wow, I can't wait for the renovation. Me too. <laughs> Back to you, Sweeney. Thanks, Angelie. We're on the third floor of the new building. And with the new building, comes a new opportunity to enroll new students. Our very own Omar Ben Hamid is back at METS with Director of Curriculum, Mr. Ian Falstich, on the prospects of enrolling new students to our school as well as additions to the curriculum. Omar? That's right. I'm here back at Mass Charter School with Mr. Falsich. So, Mr. Falsich, I hear that there's a, a lottery ticket involved in recruiting new students. Can you explain the system? Right, Omar. So, ever since we opened the school, we've always accepted students on a lottery basis. Um, each, each year, we, um, do the, we do a waiting list of students and, that are chosen by lottery. So, right now, we are fully enrolled. We've uh, fully enrolled sixth grade for next year, the incoming sixth graders. So at this point, we are fully enrolled, but we're always accepting students to be added to the waiting list that are chosen through lottery. And at any point, parents can come in and fill out the registration paperwork. Okay. Also, I heard that there are going to be new additions to the curriculum. And what are going to be these new additions? Right, we're very excited about curriculum for next year. Uh, one of the additions, we're really focusing on you know, college readiness for our students. Our students are going to be taking the PSAT for the first time next year. So right now, we're in the middle of registering all students to take the PSAT. PSAT is scheduled for October 16th for next year. And all current 9th graders and all current 10th graders should be registering for the PSAT. Also, you know, as you know, recently we took uh, students on a college college fair trip. So we're doing a lot of work to make sure students are ready are ready for um, for college. One of those points that we're doing to get ready for college is all eighth graders are now taking algebra. So all students in middle school are going to be taking algebra. And next year we're starting our first pre-calculus class and after that we'll be doing calculus. Additionally, we're going to be offering algebra uh, based physics over the summer. And we're going to have our first college level class. We're planning on starting AP, AP physics 
um, as early as this coming school year, you know, starting in August, in this August and September of 2013. So we have a lot of good stuff going on this year. All these new additions sound very exciting. I can't wait for next year's curriculum. Thank you, Mr. Fossage. Absolutely. Thanks, Omar. So I already gave you a sneak peek inside our new school, and now we're here outside in the courtyard behind our school. But with a new building comes more opportunities to grow. Students will have more chances to participate and learn in the new environment. But as deans of students, Mr. Patrick Malpass and Mr. Danny Seco explain, the expectation for students' behavior is still very high. Our very own Oscar Hernandez is back at Mets with the Dean of Students for more info. Oscar? Thank you, Michael. I'm back here at Mets with Dean of Middle School Students, Mr. Patrick Malpass. Mr. Malpass, how are you? Good morning, Oscar. All right, so with the new uh, school comes new expectations. So what are your expectations for next year? Well, I expect the same thing that we got this year at Mets Charter School. Uh, as the Dean for the Middle School, um, we're going to still be you know, working on the lateness policy to uh, not only school but to class. Um, we do expect the students to be in uniform um, at our new location. And the discipline is going to be the same. Um, basically, if you act up, you know that Mr. Malpass is going to call home, uh, speak to your family, uh, maybe set up a meeting, come in. Um, I expect the students to behave at our new location the same way they, uh, they behave here at Metro Charter School, which is very good. All right. And do you plan on uh, enforcing um, any new regulations uh, coming the new school year? At this moment, no. I feel that, uh, that as the dean for the middle school, um, what we enforce here at Mets Charter School is just going to go over to our new location on Sherman Avenue. Um, you should expect Mr. Malpass to be looking out for the same things. Again, that's the uh, uniform violations, the lateness to school as well to class, and also just discipline across the board in general. All right. Thank you, Mr. Malpass. Thank you, Oscar. Nice to see you. And next, we'll have an interview with Dean of High School Students, Mr. Danny Siegel. Now I'm here with Mr. Danny Siegel, Dean of the High School Students. So, Mr. Danny Siegel, now that next year we'll not only have the 9th and 10th graders, but also 11th graders, what do you expect from the high school students? Well, Oscar, uh, I expect the high school students to be uh, adhered to the same policy that we have forced this year. Um, I expect uh, all the students to be on time to school. Um, I expect all the students to be on time to class, and also, most importantly, they must adhere to the uniform policy correctly. All right. Thank you, Mr. Nice you. Thank you, Oscar. All right. I have a guy. I'm really excited for the new sports year that's coming up. So am I. With the new playing grounds, we'll be able to have a plethora of sports, including soccer and basketball. Our very own Julian Chong is back at Mets with sports director Mr. Sean Fallon for more details about our new play facilities. Julian? Thanks, Michael. I'm here with Mr. Fallon, the sports director. So, Mr. Fallon, have we officially came up with a mascot for Mets Charter School? Well, we've officially narrowed it down to two choices that the whole school is going to get a chance to vote on uh, during the first week of uh, June. So you think we could get a sneak peek on what those two mascots will be? Well, they are school related. Uh, they are science related. But I don't want to get too close into it. I want you guys to be surprised. We put a lot of hard work into, uh, you know, finding some really good name choices that fit the school. And uh, we want you guys to have a choice to decide what it's going to be. So how is our athletic ability, like, when it comes to practicing and stuff, going to be in the new school? Well, with the new school, we're excited because we get a chance to move up to the heights. Uh, and as you know, there's a lot of really nice places to practice up there. We have, uh, you know, Lincoln Park is very close by. Um, we have Persian Field, which is just a few blocks from the school. So we're really excited about the possibilities that we have, you know, moving to the new school. So what would you say we would be having a winning, winning team or winning season next year? Well, I don't know how many games we're going to win, but what I do know is that we have a lot of kids in the school that are very interested in the sports that we're going to be uh, offering. And uh, I think that over the course of time, our programs will get better. Uh, you know, as obviously the kids get older in the building and, uh, you know, the, the more chance we get to work at uh, the sports respectively. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. And that concludes our tour of our new building. And as you can see, we have an exciting year ahead of us with a lot of new opportunities. I know I'm excited. What about you, Michael? I'm very excited. New sports, new curriculum, and a bigger building. Next year should be very exciting. It's going to be great. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us on this special edition of MCS TV, where we dare to be extraordinary. I'm Michael Sweeney. And I'm Abigail Munoz. And we'll see you here next year on MCS TV.